All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video from golfcartstuff.com. Got an install for you today, doing a steering wheel. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take this old looking drab steering wheel off of our club car precedent. We've got a red one in the shop here. We're gonna take this bad boy off. And we are gonna put on this fancy, shiny new red one. So it's gonna look real sweet. All right, so we're gonna walk you through that process. But before we do that, gotta talk about the kit. What do you need? What do you gotta have? Okay, if you have a stock steering wheel, so you don't have, you've never put on a new steering wheel, you gotta stock one. A couple things you gotta know. You gotta buy the steering wheel, obviously, but another important piece you gotta have, you gotta have the adapter. So, most websites sell this. This is the adapter piece, thick metal, right? Goes on your steering column and then it gets your steering wheel attached on there. So if you have a stock, stock steering wheel, gotta have it, all right? So we're gonna talk you through the install, show you step by step. Before you know it, you'll be gripping and ripping in no time. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so obviously before you put the new steering wheel on there, you gotta get the old one off. So let's walk through that process. So step one, you've gotta get this faceplate off of your current steering wheel. And that's the same whether you got a club car, easy go Yamaha, you've gotta remove this faceplate. So typically on the back of the steering wheel, you're gonna find two screws that hold this faceplate in there. Once you get those off, simply pop your, your faceplate off and you've got access to the inner workings of the steering wheel. So next thing you gotta notice here is this main bolt. So this is the main bolt that holds the steering wheel to the steering column, all right? So you gotta get that removed. I've already got ours kind of taken off. On a club car, you're looking at a 5 8 socket, easy go Yamaha, just find the socket that works. Get that off, and once you get this bolt removed, then you can take your whole steering wheel right off your steering column. So just simply yank it off, steering wheel's off. You'll see your steering column has the main attachment still there, and that's where we're gonna put the new steering wheel adapter on. And I'm gonna go grab that now and show you how to get that installed. All right, so I've got the steering wheel and I've got the adapter. And uh, first step is getting the adapter installed. Wanted to show you on the adapter, on that top edge there, you see there's a bunch of holes right there. Those are screw holes that line up with your steering wheel. So you're gonna wanna make sure that that's the top end. So you'll take the narrow end of your adapter, you're gonna slide it right over your steering column just like that. You're gonna take your old bolt that you took off, you're gonna put that right back in there. I'm only hand tightening. Obviously, when you get this installed, you're gonna wanna get that thing tightened down with a ratchet. Um, but just for showing you, I'm getting these tightened down here. So at that point, you've got your adapter installed. Next step is getting your steering wheel. So there's gonna be three pieces that come on your steering wheel. They're obviously gonna be the steering wheel itself, and then you've got two face plates, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to get those installed. Here's what I would suggest. You're gonna take your steering wheel and your first face plate, and you're gonna get those lined up. Quick tip here, okay? Before you get your steering wheel completely installed, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your cart's align, right? So if you, especially if you have a directional steering wheel. So if you can see on ours, I've got a flat bottom for the bottom part of the steering wheel. If I get my steering wheel attached like this and it's looking great, but my wheels are at an angle like this, well then in order to drive straight, I'm gonna to have to drive with my steering wheel like that. So make sure your cart's aligned, your, your uh, wheels are pointing forward. All right, you're gonna get your first screw. You're gonna have your, your face plate here. And I'm gonna get this started, I'll show you how I do it. So I would suggest you start with one screw hole Get that lined up. Let me get this in here. So, get that going. And you'll get an Allen wrench in your kit. Or if you want to upgrade and cheat like I did, get one of these. So, now, you don't want to do it too tight because you've also got to get the plate in there. So once you get your first screw started, you want to have enough slack to be able to slide in your second face plate, okay? And again, similar to the steering wheel, when you get this tightened down, get this lined up exactly as you want it to. So at this point, you're at the home stretch. I'm just gonna get these last couple bolts tightened in there and then show you the finished product. So let me hit, let me hit that deck. Hit that deck. All right, guys, once you got them all tightened down, you've got yourself a new steering wheel and you are riding in style. So when you drive by, give us a little honk honk. And uh, guys, if you're liking the videos, if you're enjoying them, find them helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we'll see you later, golfcartstuff.com.